Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new here, you guys, we are back with some blush reviews. So e.l.f. recently released some more of their putty line and they released putty blushes that look like this. And I purchased three blushes to show you guys how they work out on my oily skin to see if they really last long and you know, the whole process. So if you're interested in seeing how these work out, these three right here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos all the time. And without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, so let's start. I have most of my face on. I put concealer on, set it, and I put foundation on, but I have not set my foundation because when we work with cream, we wanna work with creams on top of creams. So we're still creamy here. <laughs> so guys, today we're gonna be testing out the brand new e.l.f. Putty Blushes. I got three shades, but I'm realizing that they're kind of orangey, you see? So I'll probably use maybe these two today, but I'll definitely swatch this one. All right, guys, let's open these bad boys up. These are how the shades look. I love like new products. They're just so freaking pretty. Wow. There's no, there isn't shade names on these? What? How am I supposed to know? Okay, I guess I need to match them back up with the packaging. So this is the shade Bahama. This is the shade Turk and Caicos. This is the shade Fiji. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you on my phone. So this is Bahamas, Turk and Caicos, Fiji. Just so you guys get a better look here. Forgive the dust on the caps already. All right, guys, so we're gonna swatch. Ah! Okay, they feel creamy. Let's get a good a good swatch in. That's my first swatch. It wasn't like as strong, I feel. All right, guys, so these are the swatches we have. Here is Bahamas, Turk and Caicos, and Fiji. Here, let me get closer so you guys can see. I feel like in the pot, they look very similar, but when you swatch them, they don't. Undertones are different and shades are completely different, so that's nice. The packaging isn't helpful because this is a lot darker than what the shade kind of is. What I also did is I bought the Putty Primer Applicator. I believe this works with the actual primer. Well, it says Putty Primer, but I did see that it released along with the blushes, so why not use it, you know? Let's open this. This is how I open things, guys. Like it has this little swoop thingy here and this brush. So I kind of like this. This thing is dense. I feel like it would be a good, um, a good foundation brush. But okay. So we are going to work with these two right here. We're going to use Bahamas to the left and Turks and Caicos to the right. I only have one brush though. So you know what? We're going to work with our finger first and see how we like that. I'm going to smile move the hair and just add it to the cheeks and see how much color we get okay it's not mm, it's definitely not as pigmented as like the Milani's were I just reviewed the Milani's blushes the cream blushes about a week ago and it's like dang those are pigmented but let's just keep adding we can also build so and I'm just tapping I don't want to rub because we have foundation on and we don't want to rub the foundation off. I see a good, a good little flush of color. Shade's beautiful though. And next, doing the same process, we're going to use Turks and Caicos. I cleaned my finger. Oh, this shade's better. I think Turk and Caicos and Fiji would work best with my skin tone because you see, you immediately see pigment when I place it on. The formulas on both cream blushes feel the exact same. Along with Fiji, when I swatched it, it did feel the same. Yeah, I like this shade better. Now that we're here, we're gonna add a little bit, like, I don't know, maybe down here and on the cheeks. Not on the cheeks, on the nose. Just to so you guys can see the color. I don't know what I was thinking buying three. That's just a random number. But, oh yeah, I like this one. Guys, this makes no sense why I'm putting it all over, but you know, it's okay. Things don't have to make sense. I really like them. They they do blend out nicely. They're very, very creamy. I think 
Turks and Caicos and Fiji works best on my skin tone. It's weird, the packaging, it looks kind of dark and in the pot, they look kind of dark, but on the skin tone, it does look different. Of course, it's gonna look different because we all have different skin tones and undertones, so just keep that in mind. But I'm, I'm liking these, I'm liking these. So you know what we're gonna do is go to the window so I can show you guys in sunlight so you guys can really see the real deal. Hey guys, I'm in front of the window. So here we have Bahamas. And then here we have Turks and Caicos. I feel like Bahamas, I need to blend it out a little bit more, but it's okay. And then here we have Fiji on the chin and on the nose. I actually like them. I like the shades look really nice in sunlight. They look a little bit different as opposed to in studio lighting. I feel like it looks a lot more pigmented in front of the window. I feel like I needed a little bit more blending here. I definitely personally like how Turks and Caicos look. So what I usually do anytime I use cream products, I will set with the powder that corresponds to that. So for example, since we're using cream blushes, I am gonna set the cream blush with an actual blush and it's not too shimmery, it's pretty matte. So you guys can really see how the cream just reacts throughout the day. So let's get the blush brush and let's get a new one. Let's get this bad boy right here. We're gonna just kind of tap it with these two, all three. Okay, all three. What I'm gonna just do is just tap and set so we don't move around because you guys know I have oily skin and everything needs to be set, like everything. And I'm just following the apples of the cheeks and then just literally just following the shape of the actual cheekbone. Mm, I love this, guys. We're gonna set the nose too, because we did that. And you wanna do tapping motions when you set you don't want to rub anything off i feel like i look a little bit on the blushy side but it's okay that's why we're doing this so what i'm gonna do while wow, i'm really running out of this powder i love it i usually wear bronzer but since we're testing out these blushes i'm not gonna wear bronzer today and we're just gonna set the t-zone just so we don't get super so we don't become super slippery just setting all around the face if you ever feel that your blush or your contour or something's just a little too much, too bright, too whatever the case is, you can always bring your setting powder and kind of do this and it will tone it down, but not super, it won't make it like an obvious sort of look, you know? And you see it's toned down a little bit. Now let's go back in with the blush brush. And you can also bring it here. And if you're like too close to your eyes, like I am, I meant to tell you guys, I have a smaller face. So a lot of brushes, especially when it comes for, with cream products, they tend to just spread on my face a lot faster, which is why I try to use my fingers for the most part or smaller brushes. So like a brush like this would be so perfect because look how small it is versus a brush like I would say maybe like something like this would be a little bit too much. Keep that in mind also because I used to be like, why do I look clownish? And why is my makeup spread all over the place? And it's because I have a smaller face or kind of, you, you know, just adapt to what you're working with, you know? But guys, this is it. This is gonna be a super easy makeup day. I just wanna show you guys here. Yeah, I like these. These are, they're nice, they're subtle. I feel like they don't have as much pigment as I was expecting it to, but you can also build it up very well. A very highly pigmented shade on your skin, you know? And I like that you're able to add the product on top of foundation and the foundation doesn't really take away from the actual shade. It means it does have pigment. I kind of don't like that they don't have the names on them. Or am I like missing them? And guys, I forgot to tell you all about the price and everything. So they come in eight shades and they retail for $6 each. It's a velvety lightweight putty blush that melts into your skin. The highly pigmented creamy formula melts into the skin for a natural glow. It is lightweight, buildable, transfers from cream to semi matte powder. Oh yeah, I did see that. Infused with argan oil and vitamin E for a boost of hydration. I did get the semi matte on the hands, but I thought honestly, because my hands are dry, that's what it was doing. But okay, that's even better because we have oily skin here. So yeah, guys. Okay, so let me just finish up putting some mascara and a lip. Guys, I'm back 
two things. I'm gonna add actually Fiji, since we didn't use it too much, I'm gonna add it on my lips as a lip product. I don't know if you could do it. I didn't read anywhere that you can, but you know, it's okay. I think I got the names mixed up. On my right, my left side here, we have Turks and Caicos, and then on the right side, we have Bahamas. So I just wanted to let you guys know, cause we need a, a shade name up in here. Oh wait, is it here? Yeah, guys, I'm like still tripping out. I already put a little bit of brown lip liner. Now I could really feel the matteness on it. I like the shade, guys. Pretty, pretty. I didn't put a lot of makeup on. Honestly, I was feeling super, super lazy, which is why we put a colorful lip on. So it is 8.50 in the morning. As you guys know, we're gonna do an all day wear test. I'm gonna do a check-in in the car so you guys can see how everything looks in sunlight with the powders and everything. But wanted to give you a last check. Here is Turks and Caicos. And here is Bahamas. Like in the nose, I don't know if you can see it anymore. Well, no, we're gonna say the lips, it's Fiji. I need a little bit of chapstick, but we're just gonna disregard that too. So another thing why I like to do these wear tests is to show you guys how the blush lasts because blush usually tends to fade away first throughout the day, especially if you have oily skin. A lot of things just tend to fade away because you know the oils just take over. So that's something I really wanna test out and see, especially because these are six bucks. Like if these work out and really work all day, I may be sold. I think they are very pretty. The shades are versatile. They have eight total shades, so I really like that. I like that it dries to a bit of a matte effect, especially if you have oily skin. That's really good for us because it just kind of dries down on the skin. Well, at least that's the hope. I feel like you just have to kind of work it in a little bit to really get the umph. But after, you know, we kind of roll our finger up in there, we're good. The only thing I don't like, they don't have names. So you just only look at it here, unless I'm missing it, because I do miss things a lot of the times. But I think this is it, guys, and I will see you in the next check-in. Bye. Hey, guys, I'm back. So just wanted to show you how the cheeks look in sunlight. I really like it. This was, I don't remember, Turks and Caicos and then Bahamas. So this is how it looks in daylight. So yeah, what do you guys think so far? Let me know, let me know. And yeah, see you later. Hey guys, I'm back. Literally where I left you off in the morning, it is five o'clock. You guys, this day flew by so fast. And this is how the blushes look. I feel like some is coming off. You see that splotchiness? Both sides have it. I'm thinking it's probably just the consistency of the cream blush but overall i'm kind of liking it it looks pretty good the radiance you see right now it's my oils because my face has gotten really oily but i feel like the blush has really lasted pretty well i would say i think the consistency is good the pigment is there you just i feel like have to put a little bit of work into it but i like them i think i would definitely use them again for six dollars it's not bad. I would fucks with these elf cream blushes again. And yeah, we're still looking pretty blushed out. And actually, I've, I wore my mask for hours today because I was outside. And the fact that the blush is still on and I wore my mask and it was really, really hot today. It kind of finalized my decision and liking these and definitely recommending them to you guys because they are long lasting because it's been all day. It's been hot. I have oily skin. I haven't touched up my makeup. I haven't done anything. And these, I'll fucks with these again. But I think this is it, guys. I wanted to make this video super quick and as helpful and informative for you guys to see if you guys want to purchase these blushes. The only thing I didn't like is that the names are nowhere near in the container like I showed you guys. And I'm like, okay, so how do I know which one I'm using? But other than that, that's something very small. It's not a big deal. But of course, as I review products, I just like to tell you guys everything I find. The good, the bad, and the ugly in a very nice way, you know? But I think this is it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.